Hello and welcome to a tutorial on sprite stacking. So I saw I got a question about this. How I did this in my card game or my current project, and I thought it would make a good tutorial since there aren't really a lot of tutorials on this out there. So I thought we'd start. So first we import Pygame and math because we need math to do the directions as I'm going to show how it spins. And then we're just going to make the standard uh, pie game boilerplate and uh, also add some uh, So we're just going to open the window. We're I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080 as I have a 1440p display and then we're also going to add a surface uh, and a resolution of 500 to 81 which is of uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio and it's also pretty good for uh, pixel art. So then we're also going to set up the while loop um, and also we're going to set up the events. So I have tab nine installed, which is pretty handy. I recommend it, it, it just auto-complete stuff. I've used it for about a week now and it, <laughs> it just auto-completes, um, which is nice. So here we have just basic pi game. If we open terminal and then we just open this, you're going to see we have a window. But now let's get something drawing on the screen. So we're going to do surface dot fill. Then we're going to do with a let's do 200, 200, 200. So pretty, it's a bright color but not blinding. And then we're going to do window dot blit, and we're going to blit the pi game transform.scale and we're going to scale surface and 192 1920 by 1080 so so and then we're going to do this to zero so what we're doing here is we're just doing the standard pi game boilerplate i'm guessing you know a little bit of pi game so this shouldn't look too unfamiliar then we're just clearing the screen and here uh we are blitting um are a, a scaled version of our surface so that it doesn't show up. I can actually sh uh, show what happens if we don't do this. So if we just blit and then we do a pi game dot trans pi game dot display dot update. If I start it now, then you're going to see that it just shows the pixel art as its as its regular size. But if I go back and add back this and also scale it to the screen's resolution. Uh, then, if I also get that right, and also right, <laughs> pygame.display.update. Now, if we start this, you're going to see that it's full screen. So now we can start with the actual, um, the actual, um, sprite stacking. So I have a ready animation here, or it's not an animation, it's a, it's a, um, sprite set stack. So you can see here is the car, it's uh, modeled after a Mini Cooper. So you can see here we have the wheels, then we have the rubber thing at the bottom. Here we go up to the red, here we can see the front, more front, then we can see it going up here. This might not make sense, um, but it's going to make sense when you see it in 3D. I'm going to make a car since, it's, uh, since there's no real reason to make players in this, it's just really handy if you make any vehicles since they can be a pain to draw, but humans usually only need eight directions, so I haven't really found a use, found a use for it outside of vehicles. So I'm using um, a sprite, so I can just save as, and save that as car under check, uh, under, <laughs> un, uh, underscore, I mean, uh, under streck, that's some weird Swedish English um, combination. But you do car, and then if you do um, underscore zero, then it will automatically, or underscore an, any number, but since I have less than 10 animations, I'm just going to do zero. It's going to ask if I want to uh, export it as separate files. And we're going to do that. Uh, and if I now open the client here, then we can just load all of these into an array. So we're going to create uh, a for loop here. I have eight images. Uh, so we're going to do in range of eight. And then we're just going to image dot uh, append. We're going to append the um, car underscore plus the string of i 
plus PNG, and then I also forgot to load this into a surface. So now what we have here is we are adding the image uh, loaded into a Pygame surface. That's how we draw stuff using Pygame. Uh, and this just makes it so much easier so we don't have to copy it over and over again. Uh, so now we now let's make it draw to the screen. So I'm going to just uh, import a handy function here taken directly from the internet. So uh, we're just going to do like this. The, what this function does is it rotates it around uh, the center. So um, if we don't do this, then we then it will look weird. If you ever try to rotate something in Pygame, you will uh, you will know about this. So this is where tab nine gets a little annoying because it tries to do stuff when you're done, but it's nice to have it either way. So we're going to get the rect here. Uh, center and then x y dot center so this is just a handy function I've copied from the internet I um, don't really know what's going on but it, it, it just takes direct and centers it basically it's not anything complicated uh, you just have to know that if you want to rotate something um, around its center then this is the simplest method of doing it so what we're going to do now is we're going to loop through the uh, list uh, of images. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going since we return two, we're going to do the image and the rect, and we're going to do that as rotate center, and then we do the image that we have up here. And we're going to do math.degrees, and we're going to do math.atan2. The a102, I'm pretty sure, returns radians and degrees just makes the radians uh, into degrees from 0 to 360. So how we calculate the distance is we go mx minus draw x uh, minus draw x, and then we do my minus draw y. I'll get to uh, making these later. We're also going to now just add the x and y, so we're going to draw x and draw y. And for the y here is where the sprite stacking kind of works. So we do i times 2. I'm doing 2 pixels at the moment because 2, like this is going to add the layering. You'll see later when we start it. So now let's do a draw x and we'll do that to half of it, so it'll be 250. And then we'll do draw y and round it off to a solid 140 as it, I, I don't think Pygame supports floats as drawing and it will look weird still. So now in the beginning here, we're going to do a simple mx my pygame dot mouse dot get position. So this will get the position of the mouse. And we also, since we are using Pygame, uh, and or we're using a smaller surface mx my is going to return the screen coordinates We need the surface coordinates. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to get uh, the um, Location of them and in my case, I know that uh, 192 divided by 500 is 3.84. That's how you get the ratio and that is because I I did this before just to know that I had everything so we're just going to do m mx divided by 3.84 and then we get my divided by 3.84 and this will set it so that it's uh, corrected for um, our screen uh, so what we now want to do is after that we want to surface stop blit and we want to blit image uh, to the rect and this will blit it to the um, center so now if we start uh, we should see that oh forgot the dot the joys of programming everyone and then we also have a big r here and here we have this but you'll see here that depending on how you draw your sprite i have drawn it in the, uh, a right facing direction 
um, it's going to look uh, weird depending on how you do it. So we see here that it's um, it's plus it's plus 270 degrees for me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add to the math degrees. So we're just going to add 270. It depends now if you do upwards. I think you will add 180. Uh, but yeah. So here we have sprite thickness. You see two pixels is perfect for what I'm doing. If you're doing something on a bigger scale, less pixels uh, are better. Um, if you want, if you're doing something with the more uh, images you have, the less pixels you need. So if I had 16 images and just uh, interlace them, then I would be enough. Um, but as you can see, that makes it really, really squished for me. But if I had 16 images, it would look better in the long run. But uh, I times two is good, and this d looks good enough. It it isn't bad. Uh, so yeah, that's how that's a small tutorial on sprite stacking and also how you rotate that image towards the mouse just to show it's done. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching this uh, tutorial on sprite stacking and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.